wave, which would be the first one, and Favola, uh, the other one. I had the chance to, together with the composer who sits here in the sofa with his lovely wife, or perhaps wife yet, I don't know. Uh, and today when we were listening, we found out, or I found out, that it's a very extremely interesting composer here. And um, it was also so interesting to, to hear the pianist uh, Ricardo talk with Jonathan about how they should, or how Ricardo should interpret the, the music. And there is a lot of things to say about, uh, about Jonathan. And I think just a little bit I will tell that 12, uh, 2012 he was a finalist of the Oslo Greek Festival and won the Public Choice Award with a sonata for cello and piano. Night struck, is that the right word? Right. Yes. Um, premiered by Alexander Sagorinsky and Aina Steen Nöckleberg. Nockle Yes, uh, and you were also awarded first prize in the Leicester Symphony Orchestra Composer Composition with his Celebration, Fanfare and Procession, which were premiered during the orchestra's 19th season gala. There is a lot of things to say. You are also currently preparing the world premiere of his Concerto for Piano and Symphony Orchestra, along with the premiere of Concerto for Violin and Symphony Orchestra. I understand that you travel a lot, you're going to move, as I understand, uh, perhaps to Romania, I understood, and that you're uh, more, uh, perhaps, well-known in, in the world than you are in Sweden, if you correct me if I'm wrong. But we have to change that. So what we will hear now from uh, Ricardo Pozzolo is first Moonlight Wave. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. 
sounds so extraordinary, interesting piece of music, and I think that people that really, really understands music are so thrilled, and I can see also Jakob is very thrilled and excited. Yes. <laughs> and uh, thank you, uh, dear uh, Ricardo, for playing it so fantastically well. Um, what, when you listen to something like this, you wonder a little bit about the person, and, and as you said, you don't want to talk now afterwards uh, with a glass of wine in your hand you can ask your questions <laughs> but I will just say some few more things, the thing is that actually Ricardo, we haven't said so much about you yet, now so Ricardo, how can you play something like this how can you just sit down and do it so to say, because this is very very difficult well, I have studied you have studied, <laughs> exactly <laughs> there you see you have studied very much <laughs> Paula, it's your son. <laughs> uh, and um, of course, uh, I understand that. But also to interpret it, to, to actually do it the way emotionally and the feelings you are doing for it, it really tells who you are as a pianist. And I'm sure that uh, Jonathan also agrees on that. Uh, I think that I will just let you rest a little bit because you are going to come yeah. back and we will ask you many more questions when I have a little bit more information about you because it's like this, we will have a pause and before the pause I will tell a little bit more about Jonathan. After the pause uh, you will play Chopin, Saint-Saëns, uh, uh, Chopin Godansky, Henset, uh, Henset and Liszt, perhaps. Yes. We will see perhaps. how we yeah, will <laughs> some of this. And of course you need to rest now and I just wanted to say that it's an incredible uh, situation for us to have such a fantastic uh, interpreter uh, pianist here and that congratulations on your piece so you rest there and 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 we will uh, talk with you a little bit later yep. because i would like now to say also what happened and with you so the year 2014 he brought the music of jonathan Östlund to the cadogan hall stage with lumiere's a rich program incorporating ten of his pieces in various constellations for flute, piano, string quartet. Under the interpretation of Eleonore Pameyer, Blandine Waldman and Cellini, Cellini Quartet. The same year Night Struck received a Russian premiere by Alexander Sagorinsky and Einar Steen Möckleberg again during the Moscow International Contemporary Music at Home, at home Autumn Festival. Now the question is, this record that you had, was this actually from 2016, the record that you have with you today? And that record is somewhere, and you can buy it tonight for a certain price. And you, yeah. And that is the double CD, is that the very nice? Yes. yes. So that was actually 31 tracks of Östlund Chamber Music Works, is that true? Yes. yes. It's released by Divine Art. Yes. yes. It's a uh, yeah, Winter Cathedral Grand Organist premiering during the LFCCM and St. Pancras Church in London. Mm -hmm. And his piece, Lune d'Ete, commission, commissioned by the uh, Cote Flute Festival, is premiered by Vega Ensemble in Switzerland. So tonight there is a possibility also to, 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 to uh, get in hold of that piece because the record is here. Um, and it will be very, very interesting to, to, to have you here again and to follow what you're doing because this is a very exciting moment when you make world premieres. I know because uh, my friend Inga Carlson here, she also makes world premieres, not every day, but <laughs> so what I was thinking of now is that, you know, if you want to go to the loo, just relax or if you're very thirsty, we can give you some water. Because afterwards, my daughter Amanda and her boyfriend, the, the, the celebre, celebre Erik um, Brennström, has made very interesting food and it will be drinks afterwards. So you just have a little chat now for five minutes and let uh, ourselves meditate on the music. And afterward, Jonathan, I hope that we can talk about the music with you. So, um, and I am really so proud and happy that you are going to continue to play uh, Chopin, Sanson, and so on. Um, it's a very seldom we are in a situation like this, but when it happens, you have to praise the God that uh, we have music. Thank you very much. Thank you.